So hi and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the Razer mouse DPI using Razer Synapsys 3. I can't show you in Synapsys 2 because I don't have a mouse that's compatible with that, but the process is exactly the same and the options are still there within Synapsys 2. So just follow what I do in Synapsys 3 and Synapsys 2 and you'll be able to change your DPI. If you're not aware of my channel, I also do reviews on game peripherals, generally Razer and other products like Logitech, Corsair. So take a look at my Tech Tuesday. I'll put a link in the description as well if you're interested in that. So let's get on with it. So first you're going to need to open up Synapsys 3. You can either open it down here in your menu and you can just pick on the keypad here. If not, you'll come to this main screen here and you'll see at the top your devices. So I'm going to be using the Razer Hyperflux here. Like I said, it'll work on any mouse. This is just the same for any Razer product. I'm just going to be using the Hyperflux here though, because that's what I have at the moment. You want to go into performance. And then here you'll have the sensitivity. Some other tips here are to make sure your polling rate is at a thousand. What this does is it's how many times the mouse will be read off the map. The higher the frequency, the more response or more information the mouse gets back and gives back to the PC when it's responding to the laser. So if you were moving a line down like so, if you did it on a thousand, it would be like this. If you did it on 100, it'd be like that, you see? So what it does is it tells you how much adjustment the mouse is making. Obviously, that takes a little bit more CPU, but in today's CPUs, you wouldn't even notice it. So generally keep it on 1,000. Then what you have is the sensitivity. And Razer gives you five stages of sensitivity. You can reduce this back to two if you wish, or five. And on most mice, you have the top buttons where the DPI can be changed. These can be custom set to different ones, though. You can see here I'm using the mouse to change those DPI settings. You can change these to other mouse buttons or you can leave them at DPI as your choice, but that's how you would generally change through the settings while you're in the game. I generally play one DPI setting, so I customize these myself. Okay. So there's two ways to change the sensitivity. One is to grab hold of the scroll bar here and you can just move it up and you can see here my mouse now has gone crazy fast. Bring it back down. So the minimum increment is 50. You can't go any lower than that, which is a bit of a shame. Some mice will let you do that, but the Razer ones will not. The other way to do it is to manually type it in the box. So you can just type like 400, push enter, and the next one you could type 500. Then you could have a 550 if you wanted. You could have a 1200 if you wanted to go for a bit of a higher one. And then you could have a 3000 at the end. What you can do now is you can flick through each one of these and each one will change the sensitivity. You can do it on the fly, so the same, it's the same scroll path, <laughs> same movement. And you can change that in the game on the fly with the mouse button. It gives you a little notification at the bottom down there. Or you can just do it on the fly in the software. Or you can basically just set it to two so that you can flick between them a bit easier so you don't miss which DPI setting you're on. And that's it. That's all you need to do. You can enable the XY invert here if you wish. But that's how you change the DPI in your Razer mice. So if you like this video, let me know if you want to show you anything else in the Synapsys software. And until the next one, I'll see you again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.